Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Alexo and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Today, we are in... Do they call this the Indigo Plateau? I don't know. I, I know that that's what they call the... They call it Pokemon League. Indigo Plateau is the, the Gen 1. I didn't know if they continued that on or not, but we are at the Pokemon League today. Um, We should maybe be taking on the Elite Four, but I'm pretty sure we have a little special, uh, special fight beforehand. I'm pretty sure once we talk to that guy up there, we have a little special fight. But before we get going, I wanted to say... I trained everyone up to level 65. Everyone is officially level 65. Um, I also geared them out with their best available, like, items. Um, we didn't get a Miracle Seed or, like, a Grass Plate or anything like that for Big Green. So, the best thing for him was either a Shell Bell or a Quick Claw. But, I feel like the Quick Claw is better. I, I, I might change it in between, like, Elite Four battles, depending on how we're feeling. Um, Cherub's got the uh, Metronome. The Psychic Plate. The Fight... Uh, Fist plate or whatever it is makes fighting type moves better. The soft sand makes ground type moves better. And then the spooky plate. So, we should theoretically have the best stuff for everyone except for Big Green, sadly. But Big Green's a goddamn tank. Um, I do have... Is it five or six um, rare candies? I have six rare candies. I can give one to each one. But, I don't want to do that because we're probably going to have to fight... I think we fight Tiny Penis here. So, I'll do it after the Tiny Penis fight. But, what we do need to do... Is we need to buy a shit ton of stuff here. Um, I want to buy full heal. That just does status effect, right? Yeah. Um, where are all the healing items? We got full restore. Um, any status? Okay, we want this. We'll get, uh, we have two of them already. I think we're going to go, how, what is the max that I can buy? I'm guessing it's probably going to be 99. Oh, wow. Okay, 100. Um, I think we want to have about 50. So we'll buy 48 of these. Just because I feel like 50, that way it also lasts us probably a little bit into the post game. I don't expect to use 50. But the post game might be a little harder. And then max potions, I think I'll just get this up to 10. Just so that we have... Uh, what am I doing? I'm going up to 10. We'll get it up to 10. Just so we have some things. Um, I don't think you can buy anything for... Yeah, no. Honestly, I don't know if you can buy, like, things that heal your PP. Doesn't make sense. I mean, does not make sense. Doesn't sound good. But, yeah. So, um, I don't actually know what Tiny Penis is going to lead us off with. So, I think we're going to go with Big Green just for this battle. Cherub's going to lead us off against the first Elite Four member because they're bugs. So we'll see if we get to that um, Elite Four member. But um, we'll see. Hold it. Don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's see who's more worthy of ba uh, making the challenge with the battle. So like, what I really don't like about Pokemon games after Gen 1 is the rival kind of just is not good. Like, the rival... Um, this one's maybe not a good idea. But the rival's just like not a good rival like the gen 1 rival is perfect because they become the champion and you have to face them now i don't want every single one to be the champion but if you have like the battle after the champion be your rival or something like that but like every single one's been a pushover like the first um what was it the, the second gen i don't think you battle them until you get to kanto your last battle with them i think is like i don't even know is it in the Dragon City or something like that. I don't know. But um, Gen 3, I don't even know when you battle. I mean, you battle... Uh, what's his name? Um, is it... What, is, what's his name? The the, one, the little kid. You battle him before the Elite Four. We'll use Giga Drain just to heal up this little bit. But um, I know that you heal up... I mean, not heal up. Uh, I know you battle the, the kind of rival before the Elite Four. And then May, I think you battle after? Um, and then Gen 4, you battle right before it. I don't really like it. It's kind of a... I feel like the rival should be more in the Elite Four. You know what I mean? Like, I would love to have, like, a twist. Kind of like how they had with um with Gen 1. But, like, have a twist where your rival's actually, like, an Elite Four member or something like that. Who just reset their journey to, like, be better or something stupid like that. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, we survived. Thank, thank God. We're going to use... Uh, we're using uh, Giga Drain to heal up a little bit, but... I do think, like, they should have, like, a twist where it's like, oh, your your rival's actually Elite Four member, or, like, something stupid like that. Like, have it be where, like, oh, they didn't beat the champion, but they were good enough to replace one of the Elite Four members, or something like that. I don't know. Something stupid that the rival actually has, like, a, a reason for it. Um, Infernape. Ugh, not good. I think we're gonna go with Sharkbait, just because, uh, he resists fire types. That's, he, he's the only guy that resists fire. Uh, fire, we're kind of weak to fire. Like, other than shark bait, we're kind of screwed when it comes to fire. Um, hmm. I guess we use dig. I did learn dig. 
I, oh, I never taught the TMs. I don't think we actually have any TMs. Maybe for Shark Bait I have TMs for. I didn't even think about it. I completely forgot about doing TMs. So we'll maybe do that. But Dig, I think, should be good. I think that's the only thing we should really use. I mean, Dragon Claw is probably better, I think. I Actually, I think Dig's better than Dragon Claw. It just takes an extra turn, so I don't do it. Um, he has close combat. That is scary. Not anymore because he's dead. I was going to say, if he had close combat... I would actually, like, be very scared if he hits us with a close combat, because that shit would f not- I don't, it wouldn't fuck us up, but it would do some massive damage. A Snorlax? Well, that is, uh, good old Naruto time. I did get rid of, um, like I said, I changed some moves around. Um, I think- what did we get? I remember getting something new on, on Naruto since last time. I don't remember what it was. We have Aura Sphere. We have Dragon Rush, I think it is? Dragon Pulse. Is that the new one? I think Dragon Pulse is a new move that I have. I don't remember if I showed it last time or not, but we'll hit him with an Aura Sphere. I did also on sh uh, what is it? Is um, you survived that? I get that you got like good health, but goddamn, not good. But on Sh Sharigaki, is that how? I don't. I fucking can't remember his name. <laughs> um, hold up. It, it's Sharigaki, right? It's Shigaraki. I was switching the G and the R. He, with him. I made probably the toughest decision I ever had to make in Pokemon, which was he learned Dream Meter at level 60. He learned Hypnosis at, six, at 55. I really love Dream Meter. It's really good because not only is it an absolutely massively powered move, like overpowered move, but it's also like heals you. So that's like really good. I had to decide between that and Nasty Plot. And... I did get rid of Nasty Plot. It would have been really nice to have Nasty Plot on top of that, but you got Shadow Ball, you got Dark Pulse, you got Hypnosis, you have um, Dream Eater. I was originally going to do um, Say Fuck It with Hypnosis and just use Sing off, uh, off of Chair, but the problem with that is Sing is very hard to hit. I think it's actually a worse hit rate than Hypnosis, but also... Um, it's kind of iffy because when you, um, well, what's he saying? I fully believe in the last one. I have no reason to freak out. But, like, when you hit Sing and then it takes an extra turn to switch over, he could wake up in that turn. So, I kind of went with, you know what, we're going to have two Pokemon who can put people to sleep. So, it sucks, but it kind of had to happen. Okay, goodbye. Heracross is dead. Let's go. And we were ready for the Elite Four, it looks like. Awesome. Um, oh, chair up so close to level. I don't think I'm going to use my Rare Candy. I think I'll, I, I completely missed through that, but I think I'm going to use my Rare Candy after someone levels up. So, like, Cherub's close. We'll lo we'll use Rare Candy when he levels up or something like that. Because um, I don't remember if Rare Candies reset your XP or not. Like, leveling up and just fills up the XP that was in that level or what? I'm not sure. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it. Just you wait. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the toughest Pokemon trainer there is, the champion. Also, you'd better not lose to anyone before me. Okay, well, before we go in, we absolutely have to heal. Jesus Christ, that would be bad if I did not heal. But, I do gotta remember to put Chair up front, because this is Bug. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it's Bug is the first Elite Four member. So we need to use um, Chair and I think it has a, is it Dress Scorpion or whatever the fuck it's called? Like, wh however, like, I don't know what it is, but it's the, squir it's the, it's the big Scorpion on, on steroids. I think it's Dark Poison. That one will probably use... Um, Naruto 4. We'll probably use him for that, but without further ado, here we go. Let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. To do so, I'll need to examine the gym badges you gathered from around Sinnoh. Or, but yeah, well, I don't fucking care. I'm just gonna skip through it. Yep, 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 we got all of them. Yeah, I got them all. Okay, do you want, okay, we got victory music. Let's go. Um, I am a little scared because I'm not scared of, um, the Elite Four members. I'm scared of the champion. Because I remember um, Cynthia being unbelievable. Her Garchomp, and I'm pretty sure she has Spirit Tomb as well. I'm pretty sure they might have changed it, but I'm pretty sure she has Spirit Tomb. But those two gave me the fucking hardest time I've ever experienced in a Pokemon game going against, like, any trainer. It was unbelievable. But I do have Cherub up front, right? Yes, okay. I just wanted to make sure one last time. Cherub is going to hit him with a... Ch Actually, he's going to be amazing here because he's just going to keep... Cher uh, Chattering and have the ma metronome. Oh my god as long as they don't have soundproof because I did run into that when I was training soundproof is a bitch Um, because Cherub's got nothing. That's not based off sound. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon League. 
I'm Aaron the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty, mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Okay. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect. I just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. All right, here we go. It is time to battle the first Elite Four member. Bug train, not bug trainer. The bug, cha I don't know. Do you do you call him like a bug master? I guess would be the bug master. I don't know, but we got a Dustox starting us off. Dustox is poison fly. Uh, not flying. Poison. Uh, I keep saying poison bug. Jesus Christ! I could not get the fucking bug right. Poison bug. Chatter should just fuck him up. And we're gonna level up after this. So. Hopefully, Chatter fucks him up. What level is he? Uh, 53? You didn't die? Oh, please don't poison me. Please don't know. Oh, okay, light screen. Thank God. So he's going to set up for his next guy. Kind of sucks. But, um, okay. What do you got? What do you have? The, is it the that, yeah, the black sludge you have? Okay. I'll say, what are you using to heal up? But, Chatter, murder him. Wait, did Chatter not confuse him? How did Chatter not confuse him? Isn't, yeah, Chatter is supposed to confuse him. How did it not confuse him? Huh. He might have something that keeps him from being confused. I'm like 99% sure that Chatter is supposed to confuse, isn't he? Heracross, easy dub. This should be an in-skill even with the light screen. I gotta check this move quickly. I'm pretty sure Chatter is the one, the move that, that confuses all the all time. This confuses the target. How did he not get confused? Or did he and I just didn't pay attention? That's, uh, that's kind of weird. I don't know how he did not get confused, but Heracross, you're just dead. There was no shot you were living past that. Fighting bug, you, you, there was no shot. Absolutely none. Okay, he's done. Um, pretty solid. Uh, Cherub's flying through this. Beautiful fly, easy. Easy. Ch Cherub is just gonna murder these guys. We are a little over level for the Elite Four members. But it's really Cynthia that I was really training for. I think Cynthia has level 65s. That's the problem. It's like, when you go to the Elite Four, the first Elite Four member kind of lulls you into, like, a false sense of, like, security of, like, Oh, hey, that was easy. I can beat him. And it's like, I don't know about that. Vespa Queen. This is the first time we've seen one of these. Okay. Um, unnerve. Okay. I don't... I, I missed what it said, so I'm not sure. But we're just going to chat her. We'll chat her, her up and murder... Wow. Okay. Surprising. Kind of. Not really, though. Confused. Okay, it is confused. Thank God. I don't know why it didn't get confused. Maybe the black sludge keeps it from getting confused or something like that? I'm not sure. But what are you healing? Is that going to heal up your confusion as well? Oh, you did not. Thank God. I was going to say, please don't heal up, like, uh, status effects. What are you using? Aerial Ace? Yeah. Did nothing. Like, try better. Light screen wore off. That's massive. Especially since I think it's Drift Scorpion. I think it's Drift Scorpion, the Pokemon's name is. That, we're going to have to hit insta-kill with a uh, power... Uh, not power-up punch. Um, Aura Sphere. Did I say power-up punch before with Naruto? It's Aura Sphere. I don't know, but... big. Oh, I thought Big Ring was going to level up. Drapion. That's what it is. Drapion, um, Naruto... You're gonna have to come out and aura sphere the fuck out of him because um, he is dark poison, I'm pretty sure. So he's the one Pokemon that this guy has that is not bug and yet it's his ace. Make that make sense. Um, okay. But Drapion, it is time to murder you. Level 56. I think we should be able to aura sphere in uh, death. Oh! That is not a good move that he has. Holy shit. I was thinking about call mining. Good thing I didn't call mind. That could have been horrendous. Oh, that's not good. Um, not yet. Your first Pokemon League victory doesn't come. Okay. I think we got to switch into Cherub. He's probably going to Earthquake. Or is he going to use a healing item? He hasn't used one yet. Do I take the risk? I think we're taking the risk. Okay, thank God. Ooh. I got really scared there. I was like, I don't know if he's going to heal up or not. If he didn't, we were screwed because he's faster. So we're probably going to come in here, use an Aura Sphere. I don't know how many potions he has. Hopefully we can get a crit here. We cannot. Shit. Does he have another potion? Because I think I need to switch into Cherub. Because Cherub can survive the Earthquake. I think we're going with Cherub. He's probably going to have another four store and I'm going to be pissed. Guarantee it. But at least we can get a, ch a Chatter in there. And we can get him confused, at least. Is he gonna use another? F he fucking did. God damn it. Of course he did. Shit. Okay. Um. Hmm. We are now. We basically just used Naruto to get the the uh, the. What's it called? The fucking. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I accidentally clicked down. Shit. Not good. Oh. What? 
Oh my god. Um, hmm. Hmm. Now, if you guys don't know, I don't normally revive my Pokemon that, uh, that die in Elite Four, uh, matches. But, uh, I might have to make an exception for that. Because, uh, that was some bullshittery. That should not have happened. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna revive Cherub. This is gonna be my one mulligan. I'm getting one mulligan. One mulligan this round. And that is gonna be for Cherub, because, uh, yeah. Did not expect him to be faster than Cherub. Not in a million years did I think he'd be faster than Cherub. So, we're gonna have to use a mulligan on that. Um, Naruto and Big Green can be, uh, we can use an, a rare candy on. Let's go. I will not concede defeat. But I, I didn't fucking, I'm not gonna care. I, I fucking skipped that second part and I don't care. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna use my mulligan on that. Mulligan on that one. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three more trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Okay, well, before we go on, um, we are going to use um, Rare Candy on um, Big Green and Naruto. We're only using one. He's going to be level 67. Okay, he's fish him and Naruto are going to be the strongest. I'm not going to use it on Cherub just because Cherub got... Um, Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Because just because Cherub got uh, so much XP from there that I don't really want to waste it on him. Because he's really close to level 67 naturally. So we'll use that. Um, we're done there. Nope, I did not mean to do that. We want to come into our healing items and we will use a revive. Do I have any max revives? I would assume not, but... Oh, I do. I have two max revives. I'll use that on Cherub. That way we don't have to use a revive and waste a potion. We'll use that on Cherub. And then we have... Where is my... Uh, we have max potions. I guess we'll use a max potion on Naruto, since he doesn't have a status effect on him. We don't want to waste full restores. So yeah. Uh well, that was um that was a little iffy um going in there. I don't know what I I, I had to look up what Elite Four member is next, but we officially have beaten the first Elite Four member, and that is gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell, it notifies you every time I upload, and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode when we continue taking on the Elite Four. Bye!